uh, you believe that some of, some of the key milestones of your journey that you specifically want to you know mention about so first of all thank you so much kesha for being here on my channel today i believe your experience is going to be really helpful for the audience so with that note let's get started you can start with your introduction uh, hi guys uh, this is kesha berg um, i'm 24 years old i belong to haryana uh, so starting from a journey of uh, btech i graduated in 2020 um, after that i uh, was campus placed in infosys uh, where my training got started in november of 2020 uh, i was trained on uh, uh, react js uh, after that uh, i was literally on bench for about 11 months but i did some uh, outside uh, react js projects with my friends um, mm -hmm. after that i was not getting uh, enough exposure to technologies in infosys so i decided to move on I joined Cap Gemini uh, as a data analyst, uh, but uh, uh, the profile said uh, says data analyst, but my job role was of chatbot developer. So I used to create chatbot and voice bots uh, in Dialogflow. Uh, so our partner was Google. So Google was a mediator uh, for us uh, between us and AT and T. So yeah, so that was my chatbot journey. It uh, lasted around uh, 12 months. Uh, mm -hmm. after which i got placed in target and uh, from last four months i am in target as a data analyst uh, mm -hmm. i've been loving here so yeah that's part of the journey got it got it so uh, you specified that you were on bench um, when you joined infosys right so i believe uh, here you have specified that you you know started learning i think you mentioned react right so um, yeah. that is a good point like i just want to focus on it so see guys if you are on bench so it's not like because when you are fresher you are enjoying that period that okay i'm getting the salary and no work so let's so i i think that it is a good point that you specified so if you are on bench okay that is fine so make sure that you yourself are learning the things because later on it will be a problem for you only that if you are not utilizing that time so uh, yeah that is a good point to mention so uh, just wanted to know as you have given a quick overview about your journey like how it started from in courses and then a switch to cap gym and i then right now in target uh, what are some you know some of, some of the key milestones of your journey that you specifically want to you know mention about um key milestone uh, there are not uh, very particular ones but yeah so react was new to me uh, in college i never had a chance to interact with react so i basically mm -hmm. learned it uh, from youtube only uh, it was mm -hmm. a nice experience uh, as uh, i focus on practical part for the first time in my life uh, so that was the first uh, good part of it um, mm -hmm. after that i uh, as i said i was in bench but i was uh, continuously uh, reaching out to partners uh, there in forces uh, senior managers about so i pitched them some of my projects and uh, uh, they liked that project but uh, at that time the condition was such that uh, i cannot they couldn't include me in the any projects such so mm -hmm. yeah life was better also uh, but yeah i kept going on i was learning a lot of things i then learned uh, java script to the extent that i really loved it after mm -hmm. that i uh, i started learning python as i was getting interested in the data field uh, data science was a boom or mm -hmm. then so uh, i thought why would not try it so mm -hmm. uh, i learned python there uh, spent around 2 3 months uh, also uh, here or there are some different things i tried on so yeah mm -hmm. but yeah when uh, i got a chance in cap gemini i was uh, a uh, little uh, disappointed uh, as my title said data analyst but uh, the position was of chatbot developer but i said uh, it's new for me mm -hmm. i have never heard such a term so uh, let's try it out so it was a good experience learning chatbot and voice bot development it uh, showed me a multiple uh, scenarios how uh, uh, telecom telecom company works and this those stuff i learned there so it was also a nice experience and Uh, i was uh, contacting uh, the google leadership directly so uh, that was a good touch on that mm -hmm. um so after that target i, I would say the nicest thing um so uh, 
the environment first of all uh, as everyone would have heard of it so it's more amazing than that so it gives you a lot of confidence also it boosts it is like perfect package i would say for anyone so yeah uh, also here i got to interact with uh, the president of target in india uh, also senior leader from uh, google joint target so i got like one hour with him uh, we talked on multiple topics about career exp- uh, expectations and all so yeah that was a good experience got it got it thanks for thanks for explaining so well i mean in your journey it's it's also about like you were on bench then again uh, you know you were mapped to some other profile although your hiring was for some other profile so this also happens in the corporate like people should have the understanding about it so thanks for specifying that as well so right now you are working as a data analyst and i believe that most of the things you have learned from yourself because that's not the first tool that you were assigned to so I just wanted to know what do you believe what are the key skills and the qualities one should have as a data analyst okay um so i would say problem solving is a main thing here um mm-hmm. irrespective of uh, other technical skills uh, it is the most basic one and most important one if you are good in problem solving if, or if you are want to be good in problem solving uh, your pathway would be fine in term of data science uh, people generally think uh, just the skills of uh, uh languages like python sql matter but before that your logics should be mm-hmm. strong um uh, yeah that would be uh, the first method and the second would be the sql part uh, it is the brahmastra of uh, data so every position out there in data uh, mm-hmm. either it is data engineering or data science uh, sql is a must so sql should be on tips other than that uh, a programming language uh, um you can start with python python is a good program language uh, problem solving and that uh, is also uh, very important after that i would say a visualization tool um mm-hmm. it, it is must for some uh, companies but yeah uh, some companies do not consider it also like they can teach you because most product based companies do not use tableau or uh, power bi they have their own uh, mm-hmm. um in house tools so they don't consider that much but yeah it is good to have like any um, power bi tool you can have uh, that is good to have and uh, basics of ml and probability statistics uh, it is also good to have it's not a must but yeah these are the skills i would say uh, would be very basic for d- data analytics job mm-hmm. got it got it thanks for uh, specifying them so you you specified about the is this now comes the next question that you know the people must be having okay we know the things that are important but what are the resources that we can follow because right now there are plenty of the resources but yeah like in your journey what are the resources that you follow and became helpful for you so just let us so initially i tried to follow youtube only mm-hmm. but uh, that work out well so uh, i thought uh, to spend some time in uh, gathering information about these platforms that uh, uh, were in trend then like uh, scaler was a platform so i uh, s- researched about that and uh, i joined that for improving my problem solving skills and to get into data science so uh, they had a very well curated pathway that mm-hmm. i could follow and at that time i was uh, like working around 11 hours uh, per day for capgemini so uh, i didn't have any time to like scroll and search so i thought why not spend some money and get uh, a clarity on what i want to do so i joined scaler um so they had a really good platform there mm-hmm. apart from it yeah always uh, youtube is uh, udemy is uh, these things uh, uh, anybody can like uh so I chose so, so for sequel i would say uh, there is a channel called ankit bansal so mm-hmm. he is really uh, great in sequel i would say it, it, it's the best one uh, after that uh, python i i did it via documentation mm-hmm. but before that also uh, like in college i went through a channel called john philip jones so mm-hmm. it had very uh, interactive way of teaching python from the very deep uh understanding of how the man uh, memory is managed and all that i was really interested in that so that is a channel to look to uh, uh other than that uh, for problem solving hacker and hacker these channels everybody knows so you can 
test on these and regularly um, touching some good problems is always a, a good thing to uh, motivate you and have some confidence um, yeah so I, i would say these two three things uh, everybody can uh, look upon and uh, two three days if you spend on anything you would find some good resource if you are looking for free but if you are looking like if you have the money then you can always uh, choose a pathway that is followed by hundreds of people um that is well curated and um, improved upon significantly so yeah that's also yeah obviously like i i agree what you said like so the choice is up to the individual as you said in your case you were you know uh, you were giving around 11 hours in your job only so somewhere you know managing that time and then because resources are there obviously free resources are there but they are not you know very curated and then if you got stuck somewhere then someone to help all these things so the choice is only yours you can go with the paid resources as well you can go with the free resources as well so kesha hoping on to our next question so that would be about your current company so basically like what are the rounds you went through to uh, get into target okay so there were a total of four rounds mm -hmm. uh um, the first two were technical rounds uh normal sql based questions python based questions were asked in both of these uh mm -hmm. they lasted around uh, a total of 45 minutes mm -hmm. um after that uh, third round was uh, more of a higher end uh, sql uh, it was technical plus managerial round um like advanced sql questions were asked really advanced uh, mm -hmm. also about uh, visualization tools my projects uh in depth knowledge of my project for us like how comfortable i am right now in chat for domain so it lasted mm -hmm. around 1 hour so that mm -hmm. was really good uh, after that uh, last round was with uh, the senior director uh, it was totally uh, you know get to know and uh, some career expression questions were asked so that was that was around 10 12 minutes after that it journal got it got it so uh, one thing uh, that would be you know with respect to freshers because uh, you also you know once started your journey with this data analytics field so what are the challenges that you feel uh, a fresher face when they are you know starting with this journey as a data analytics you know when they are starting their preparation phase and all those things okay um, so resume i would say is a pretty much important thing mm -hmm. people kind of use the uh, pretty irrelevant thing to resume like they add photos their address and these things matters a lot small things mm -hmm. uh also uh sometimes i have seen that uh, adding projects that you have not done mm -hmm. uh it is okay to have but uh, you need to be explicitly explaining them in a way that it would sound real that mm -hmm. communication should be there and that communication should be practiced upon it shouldn't be like uh, yeah ma dekh lunga and uh, at the mm -hmm. time of interview i would say any that that shouldn't be there but it should be a perfect pitch um also uh everything about an interview you should be prepared about like it's an intro part you should prepare yourself for an intro you shouldn't be like uh, on an ad hoc basis you are saying uh, anything so uh, going prepared in an interview is most critical thing um also i would say that uh, people focus too much on skills like they should know everything like if mm -hmm. there is sql you should know every function out there like uh, length function is there uh, substring function is there uh, they are they are good to have but nobody is going to judge you if you don't know any of these so just keep your basics clear have some fundamental understanding of what your interview is going to be like going to uh, google and uh, uh searching for what uh, this company asked so that is really uh important thing to go through uh apart from it uh, i would say overscaling is a pretty bad thing so mm -hmm. as I, as i mentioned earlier that i got to interact with a senior mm -hmm. leader in google so he told me a very uh, different thing then so he said uh, if we have uh, said that we want five skills from uh, for this profile okay and you are having those five skills you are having uh, competence in those uh product based companies might not hire you so i, I asked him why is that so he said every job out there even if you are best in something 
th that job should be challenging for you even if you're best in python sql if even if nobody can like uh make you surrender to them in these things uh there should be a challenge in any job role so they look for a guy who knows two three skills out of it and he can yeah. probably grab upon rest of them uh, in the journey so over skilling he said uh, is why like most resumes are rejected and uh, even if a person is coming there and uh, explaining everything and even if he got rejected that is the reason he got rejected because he knew everything that shouldn't be the case it was pretty like uh, new to me i i never supposed that would be such a case there but yeah he said there is such a case every time in a product based okay even even i got to know uh, something new from this conversation so thanks thanks for putting up this point well i believe these were some of the questions that i was having to discuss with you and <laughs> i must say that you have explained all of them really well but before wrapping up you know uh, it's very important with a fresher's point of view when you are step, stepping into a field and even an experience who, who want to switch their domain so what is your opinion about the future of this particular domain that currently you are working um i would say it's pretty good um with the aspect of uh, going in data engineering and data science from this field is pretty huge um i i would say it's the freshers if they are not very good technically like they are not very good in ml and even if they don't want to uh, get into ml right now starting with data analytics is a pretty good start and uh, they can move freely in any of these fields internally or externally so that is why most people choose data analyst so they can search what they are looking for that is what i am doing right now so mm -hmm. uh, apart from it also if uh, it gives you a business understanding goal so so if you want uh, to get out of technical uh, ability some day like technical knowledge you want to just wrap it out of yourself You, this is a pretty good field you can get into the operations part of it where most of the uh, analytical uh, foundings that you have uh, curated are sent mm -hmm. uh, to the ops team and after that they are the ones who take a necessary uh, business measures based on that so if anybody is interested in that then that that's pretty good in this i am interested in that so that's why i chose data analytics uh also uh, uh after all like uh, uh business is the most important thing in any uh technical skills are going to fade away at 10 12 years so having a business understanding of the domain that you are in from the start is a plus point to have always mm -hmm. so i would say if uh, somebody is less interested in technical side they should get into technical also uh to an extent and after that extent they should uh, get into the business side of it we got it got it like makes sense to me so this will basically not only giving you the technical aspect about the things but a uh, business kind of aspects as well because yeah, yeah. so yeah um, yeah i think it was a be interesting conversation with you even i got to know uh, many things and i believe the audience will also learn a lot from it so thank you so much thank you for being here today uh, yeah